Hey guys, Paloma here and welcome to the Bates House. Today I'm coming at you with a remake of an original idea that I came up with years ago. It is a CTP crossbody planner carrier. How this works is this bag will be not only a planner cover, but it will be a functional planner cover that is interchangeable and can be used as a crossbody bag. The covers can be changed out so that you can decide which color you want to go with for the day. Your strap is reversible. The covers are actual functional bags so you can put your pins and things in there. And it has a chain so you can carry it like a crossbody on the go. And the best part is that it was under $5. Now no worries, no happy planner. You can make one for yourself using the Dollar Tree mini notebooks. For this tutorial we're going to be using three cosmetic bags and a chain from a basket planter. We're going to be using basic supplies like project poster board, the plastic sheets from the Dollar Tree chopping mats, ruler, blade, tape, glue, all of this can be found at Dollar Tree. We're going to start off with our covers. I picked two covers that were similar in pattern in different colors so that it would be a fun change whenever I was in the mood for one color or the other. Now you can pull one of the sheets or the covers from your planner and use that as a punch guide. We're going to take our Dollar Tree chopping mats and cut a nice size strip. This is what's going to convert our pouches into covers. We're going to need two pieces, one for each pouch, and it's going to span the length of the back side of the pouch because that is where it's going to attach to the discs. So the size you're cutting your plastic strips is going to be determined by the size of your pouch. You want something that's pretty similar to the size of your planner, so take your planner with you or make your planner and take it with you so that you can have an idea of the size pouch you're going to need. Now we're going to take our guide and trace out the hole punches onto the back side of that strip. I curved that side because it's going to be sticking out of the bottom of the planner and I want to make sure that I don't scratch myself, so the bottom half is curved. Now that we've traced out our punch holes, we're going to take a Dollar Tree hole punch and punch the holes. If you're interested, I have a Dollar Tree video that I posted recently showing you the staples that you could find at Dollar Tree from the Crafter Square line. Also, the basic supplies that they have there that I use on a regular basis. So feel free to check out that video. Next, we're going to take our Crafter Square mini scissors, detail scissors, and begin cutting the slits into the holes. You don't want to cut the slits any wider than the size of your blade of your scissors. The slits is what holds the plastic in place by hugging those discs and that is how your covers are going to be attached and nice and firm in place. So don't cut too wide on those slits. Also on the top piece of your plastic you want to make sure you leave enough room for adhering the piece into the pouch. Next we're going to take some scrap cardboard and cut some pieces that are approximate to the size of the pouch. You're going to take a scrap piece so that you can put it inside your pouch to cut. Next you're going to take your plastic strip that you've hole punched and line it up to the edge of the pouch. We're going to cut a strip into the one side of the pouch. This is the inside of your cover. Make sure you test as you go. Do not overcut on the first time. You want it to fit snug into that place. So if you have to make adjustments, that's fine as long as you don't overcut. We haven't adhered it in yet. We're kind of piecing it together, but we're gonna take our cardboard sheet and cut that to fit inside of the cover. This is just gonna give us a stable cover so when we put our chain, the bag doesn't buckle and it doesn't fold up and make it very wonky when we're wearing it. It'll actually be nice and structured and not fall apart as we wear it as a crossbody. Once we have that one ready, we can go ahead and begin doing the same exact thing to the other cover. Now one thing to remember is you want your zippers to be on the top side for your front cover because you don't want to put things in there and have it unzip and everything falls out. Now the back cover is of course going to be the opposite, but the primary cover will always be the front cover if that's what you choose to do. So I make sure that I have my covers facing the correct direction before I start cutting into them because I don't want to make a mistake and cut the wrong side. 
So for me, I always cut with the zipper closed and on the top. Now that we have our pieces all cut, we can go ahead and put it together as a way to see kind of what we're going for here, but nothing is yet adhered in place. You wanna make sure that you have everything right before you start to make it permanent. Next, we're gonna move on to our strap. I found this Dollar Tree Cosmetic faux leather bag a long time ago, and Dollar Tree also has Velcro in white and black in strips and dots in their craft and tool section for $1. I'm going to take this pouch that I previously turned into a planner pouch and cut it down so that I can get my strap. I want to make the strap long enough so that I can have a bulky planner if I want to. Plus, if you're going to be adding in pins and stuff, sometimes it's going to add some chunk to your planner and you need to be able to accommodate whatever extra length you need. And I figured since some of the Velcro was going to be showing, I wanted it to be cute. So I took the Velcro strip and I created a long flag type shape. That way, if any of it is showing, it doesn't look ugly. Now I'm going to take that Velcro and I'm going to adhere it to the planner. I'm going to find my center, kind of put it in place, and then I'm going to add the Dollar Tree poster board adhesive by Beacon. This is an awesome adhesive. In that Dollar Tree Staples video that I told you guys about, I tested this glue and it worked fantastic. So I am so happy that we could have something available like this for $1. Once you have it in place, go ahead and put your piece of paper back on there just to keep it nice and clean and let it set and dry a little bit. And we're going to do that to both covers. Now I do like the way the black Velcro looks on the bag. I made sure to put the fuzzy part on the bag and not the actual Velcro plastic part. That's the part that kind of holds on to the lint and stuff and you want to be able to have a nice clean cover and then clean out your strip later on if you need to. So now that we have our Velcro setting on our covers, we can go ahead and begin getting everything ready to adhere in place. Now in this part, I did use my basic brand adhesive from King Dollar, which is the B-A-Z-I-C brand, but I do change to the Dollar Tree brand because I just totally forgot. I always reach for my basic brand and forgot I was using Dollar Tree products, but I do change to the Dollar Tree products and it works the same. I absolutely love the Dollar Tree adhesives. So you can take one of two types of adhesive that Dollar Tree has. They have the long tape, double-sided tape, and then they also have the adhesive dots. Those are my absolute most favorite thing ever as far as adhesives from Dollar Tree. Now all we're doing is taking our plastic strips and adhering them to the inside of the bag. Not where the plastic cardboard can't slip in any longer because that plastic cardboard is kind of going to sandwich that plastic between the cover and the cardboard. So you want to make sure that you leave the opening available for that. Remember we are making this permanent so you need to make any adjustments before you start to adhere things in place because you won't be able to go back and do it later and if you do you're probably going to mess something up. So this is where I start to use the Dollar Tree adhesive. They have the thin strip double sided tape and they also have the clear dots. Now this is the one from the party supplies area where you can hang balloons from the ceiling. That's what this tape roll is and that is my favorite of all of the adhesives. I use that for my eBay store and I absolutely love them but I'm just doing a combination of the both to just make sure it's nice and secure. You want to rub it down very well in place to be sure that you are adhering into the fibers of that cardboard remove all of your strips and carefully slide it into your pouch without <laughs> sticking it down. You're going to be facing this towards the plastic and the cover because again, this is going to sandwich the plastic between the cover and the cardboard. This is all going to hold everything in place so that your cover is nice and sturdy. 
you want to leave a tiny bit of trim outside of the fabric cover. This is just so when you put your cover on, you can have that little plastic edge to protect your papers. Then you're going to close the opening with more double-sided tape. For a little extra security, you can take the Dollar Tree Beacon poster board adhesive and put a strip along the inside edge of that tape. It's just going to add some extra security in case your tape happens to peel or maybe you had a bad piece of tape or anything like that because we all know that this tape can kind of go bad and lose its adhesiveness. Then we're just going to take the other piece of cardboard, rinse and repeat and do the same exact steps. Once you're done with your covers, you can go ahead and set them aside and let them dry. And meantime, you can work on your strap for your planner cover. Again, this is what is going to hold our planner closed so that it doesn't open up and flip everything out whenever we are carrying it as a crossbody. On this strap, I didn't want a super thin edge. I wanted it to be a little bit thicker than the thin edge that it would be if I left it like as is. But I'm gonna take the end of each side and curl it up on itself. I'm gonna adhere it with the Beacon poster board adhesive and then I'm going to clamp it to dry with the Dollar Tree metal clamps. Then once you do that, you can set that aside to dry and we're gonna go ahead and test our planner covers so you can see what we're going for. So all you have to do is choose what cover you want as your front cover and what you want as your back. If you want to wear white that day, you can put the white cover. If you want to wear black that day, you can put the black cover. And you're going to put your covers on. All you have to do is lift the lip that we left for a clean edge and pop your covers in place. How beautiful is that? And then you're going to take your strap and also adhere that to the flag pieces of the Velcro. Now the adhesive from the Velcro was bonding to a somewhat soft fabric so I didn't even feel like it needed some additional adhesive because I went back to lift it to add some of the poster board adhesive and it couldn't even come up. So I really do think that it is good enough or strong enough to adhere to a soft fabric. Now there was one edge that I kind of cut more into the edge of the Velcro and I did add some adhesive there. So just kind of pull and tug and see where you may need some extra adhesive because a lot of it really didn't. That was kind of all I needed to do. Now that we have the bones of the planner done, we can go ahead and begin creating our strap using the strand from a Dollar Tree planter basket. All I'm doing is taking the long clips off of the ends of the chains. Then I'm going to take one of the chains, put my scissors in there to loosen them up, and get four little rings. Those four little rings are going to be attached to the covers to create the loops for our chain to connect to. Once you've taken off the ends and you've taken off the four pieces that you need, you can go ahead and get some pliers and push them all back together. Now we have one long chain. Next, we're gonna take the Dollar Tree pin and we're going to create a nice clean hole where each one of our loops are going to feed through. I kind of went in and down about a quarter of an inch to a half an inch. 
It just depends on where your zipper sits and how big of a seam you have. I went as far as I could get to make sure that it wasn't in the way, but it wasn't too far in to where the planner won't be carried nicely with the chain. Once you have it in place, you're going to have to fuss with it a little bit because you are right by the zipper end and you're right by the seam. So it's a little hard to grip that loop, but not that hard. Like it's not that complicated. You just get your pliers, wiggle them in there, try to get a good grip on the loop and pinch it shut so that it holds on to the fabric and doesn't slide out of place. What you're going to end up with is a little loop that hangs from the outside of the bag, not the inside because you got to be able to get that zipper closed on the outside of the bag with a little lip hanging over the edge of the zipper. This just makes sure that your zipper can close nicely, it can open nicely, it's not in the way of the seam inside of the bag and all that. Wherever it's the most comfortable is where you want to put it basically. The best part about using these little rings is that they are not big and bulky, they're not in the way, so even if you decide to use it just as the cover and you don't want to have it as a crossbody that day, you can take the chain off and you can't even really tell because they're so small it doesn't really cause any bother whenever you're using it. Also, the good thing about having that cardboard layer in there on that side of the pouch is that you get to punch through it and connect your loop through that. It's actually adding some extra durability to the cover so that your loop doesn't rip up and tear that fabric with all of the weight being only on the loop and the fabric. So the cardboard is very helpful in adding some durability to your hole. Okay guys, so up until this point, we have created a reversible or interchangeable front and back functional planner cover. The functional part is the fact that you can use those cosmetic pouches as pouches to carry your pins, receipts, a very thin wallet, whatever you want to use them for. We have a reversible strap where you could add embellishment to one side and a different type of embellishment to the other if you like. And no matter what cover you decide to use for the day, the strap will work in any direction. So your bag will always look like it's supposed to be however it is. Now at this part, I walked away and I was so excited because I went to go stand in front of a mirror with the, with the planner pouch on as the crossbody and it fit perfect. I couldn't be more excited. And I wanted to dress up my strap with this vintage charm. It's a Snoopy charm that I was gifted in a friend mail. And I'm going to use the Beacon poster board adhesive to attach that because like I said, this adhesive is amazing. So I just put a bunch on there so that whenever I flattened it, it would kind of create a 
borderline of adhesive around the charm to make sure that it holds it in place. Super cute. Let that set and then as you wear your crossbody bag, you can add a charm to it. You can add a tassel, whatever you like. Guys, this is absolutely adorable, fully functional, super easy steps, and so affordable. So that is pretty much it for this video, guys. I do hope you enjoyed this Dollar Tree DIY crossbody carrier. If you did, go ahead and check out my playlist for the planner on a budget videos. Also, my planner DIY videos where you can find the other two videos that are related to this topic. You can find me on my social media on Instagram and my Facebook group at The Bates House. I show all of you guys trailers and updates there real time. If you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up. Also, comment down below. Let me know what you think of this tutorial. Don't forget to share this video with anyone that you feel can relate and want some fun creative projects to use for their planner. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Also hit the notification bell on your way out. I have a big Dollar Tree planner supplies and supplies giveaway coming up very soon. It's going to be four winners, but you must be subscribed. And for now, guys, that's it for this one, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!